I come from a matriarchal community. So the women take the names of the mothers, not the fathers. Um, so that's the, the matriarchal name that I go by. Um, so in my Instagram, it's under that. So my first passion was oils. And then when um, I had children, I didn't want the fumes of oil painting and the terps, etc. cetera, um, you know, affecting the babies. So um, I switched to watercolor um, at that time and uh, did a lot of watercolor portraiture actually and landscape. Um, we were based in Hong Kong at the time. So um, it was great, you know, I was in an art group there um, under the sort of guidance of Stephen Thomas, um, who's quite famous there as an artist, watercolor artist. And he taught me um, really the, the sort of basics of watercolor um, and how to use it. It's a very quick way of, of painting. And then I, when we moved again to another country in Asia, I wanted to get back into um, oil-like medium. So when I came back to the UK, I started experimenting with acrylics and then I was hooked, you know, because it really, I mean, I'm a full-time teacher um, at a college. So I need something that I can use really quickly in any spare moment that I have. Um, whereas with oils, I think you need to dedicate a, a, a period of time to it. I work very fast and, you know, I might have half an hour between sticking something in the oven and, and uh, feeding the family. So, you know, I wanted something that was quick and easy and versatile. I may go back once I stop teaching and have more time. I might go back to oils, my first love. Um, but, you know, you really need to dedicate time for that. Um, that took about, I think it took about two weeks. Most of the time is spent with the composition, really. How do you want to lay it out? Um, this is of the Silly Isles. We go there every year. And um, it's just amazing. The colours there are like the Caribbean, you know, the, the seas. But... Obviously, it's not as warm as the Caribbean, but yeah, it's as close as I can get to the Caribbean during lockdown and uh, not being allowed to fly anywhere. My main subject matter is portraiture and people. And that I find it because I like the challenge of trying to capture people, making them look like who they are or capturing their poses and their essence, etc. Every person is different and you have to get um, their spirit as well. So it tends to be much more thought induced work, whereas landscape is just a, a joy, just just an explosion of artistic enjoyment, really. Um, this is my sixth, sixth year. Yeah, I first exhibited in 2015. And it's always at the stables in Hatch End, um, which is great because when I was doing the Mother and Child series, it, it really felt like I was in the stables like, you know, Mary with little Jesus, really. It, you know, you could smell the, they kept horses in there before ponies, so you could smell the sort of countryside and the previous inhabitants and everything. So it, it was very rustic, shall we say, you know, which is great. So I always look at um, how children participate in art. They participate with abandonment. They're always in the moment and they, they just experiment without judgment. And, and that's how I started really, you know, just as a, as a sort of um, getting away from academia just to give me a respite from academia all the time. Um, new way of teaching via Zoom, you know, <laughs> which is a, a new challenge to teach art. And I enjoy teaching, you know, people art. I, I Once I, I see people trying it and their enjoyment, that's, that's the reward for a teacher, isn't it? 
Um, they can get in contact on my uh, email, which is on the website. Um, I think my phone number is there as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. just send me a text and ask. Um, and then, you know, depending on what they want, we can work around it.